How to make a red velvet cake from scratch. Red velvet cake. Sounds very elegant, right? But what is red velvet cake anyway? Is it red and velvety, as the name implies? And why red? Why not blue, violet, green, or orange? Finally, what does it taste like? Chocolate? Vanilla? These are what makes this cake very mysterious, unique, and interesting to those unfamiliar with it. It turns out that the red color was not intentional. In the early days, cocoa powder contained compounds called anthocyanins. When the anthocyanins reacted with vinegar, it resulted in a reddish hue, not as bright as we know them today, though. The velvet, on the other hand, was indeed due to its velvety texture. As for flavor, it has a unique flavor that is difficult to describe because it's not quite chocolate, but not quite vanilla either. Now that we've uncovered the mystery of red velvet cake, let's get to making one. Here's an easy recipe on how to make a red velvet cake from scratch, alongside instructions on making the cream cheese frosting and frosting the cake. One, for the red velvet cake, you need the following ingredients. Two cups all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one half teaspoon salt, two teaspoons cocoa powder, two cups granulated sugar, one cup vegetable oil, two eggs, one ounce red food coloring, one cup buttermilk, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one teaspoon vinegar. Two, for the cream cheese frosting you need one box sifted confectioner sugar, 16 ounces, one half cup softened butter, eight ounces of softened cream cheese, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one cup chopped pecans, if desired. Three, to make the red velvet cake. 3.1, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Lightly grease and flour two nine inch round cake pans. 3.2, in a medium bowl, whisk together all purpose flour, baking soda, salt, and cocoa powder. 3.3, in a large bowl, combine the sugar and oil. Whisk in the eggs, red food coloring, buttermilk, vanilla extract, and vinegar until well combined. 3.4 3.4 Add the dry ingredients to wet ingredients and mix until it achieves a smooth consistency. Then pour the batter evenly into the baking pans. Tap them on the table to release air bubbles and level them. 3.5 Bake for 30 to 35 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted in the center of the cake comes out clean. Do not overbake. 3.6. Let the pans cool on a wire rack for 10 to 15 minutes. 3.7. Slide a knife around the edges of the pan to loosen the cakes. Take them out and let them cool completely on the wire rack. 4. For the cream cheese frosting. 4.1. In a mixing bowl, mix cream cheese and butter with a handheld mixer or stand mixer for two to three minutes. 4.2, add in the vanilla extract and then add in confectioner sugar and beat until smooth. 4.3, add chopped pecans or use them for garnishing or leave them out entirely. 5. To assemble the red velvet cake. 5.1, using a serrated knife, cut off any uneven parts or use a cake leveler. 5.2. Put a dab of icing onto your cake board. Place one cake layer on top of it. This should prevent the cake from sliding off your cake board while frosting. 5.3. Using an offset spatula or a palette knife, spread some cream cheese frosting evenly on top of the cake, about one quarter inch thick. 5.4. Put the second cake layer on top. 5.5. Frost the entire cake with the remaining cream cheese frosting. 5.6. Sprinkle with chopped pecans if desired. Your delectable red velvet cake is now ready to eat. Let this guide on how to make red velvet cake from scratch help you surprise family and friends with your secret baking skills. They will probably beg you to make more.